Hello and welcome to Some Grub with Mark Russell. Today we're doing something on the braai. So today I'm making Mediterranean chicken in a poiki pot. I'm using unfiltered chicken breasts because I want the fat from the, the chicken, the skin on the chicken. It adds to the flavor and in my opinion I always cook a poiki with uh, a cut of meat that has bone in. It just, it, for me it adds flavor to the dish. The big flavors of Mediterranean chicken are lemon or it's like a citrus flavor, olives, in this case, I put in Italian tomatoes and uh, you can see on the top here, olives at the bottom, there's celery that I add in as well. And it's very quick actually. For a poiki, this takes me about two and a half hours to cook from start to finish. Um, as you'll see, I did finish in the dark, but that's just because it's going into winter here and I wanted to use the shade of Table Mountain to, to have controlled light. So. Yeah, this is a this Saturday meal I decided just to put together. It's very spontaneous, but I hope you guys enjoy. So to start things off, we are going to be starting a fire using charcoal briquettes. It's about a third of a four kilogram bag and two blocks of fire lighters. We're going to let this burn down. It'll eventually, the briquettes will eventually go white. And then we will set some aside. You only need about eight or so the pieces of charcoal to begin with and then you set them aside put the poiki pot on top and then add your oil you'll see it will start melting almost immediately so what I'm doing now is I'm spreading the coconut oil around the cast iron pot to make sure it's not going to cling to the, the chicken skins they can stick I mean it doesn't matter if some stick but I'm now laying the chicken skin down on the cast iron, not right at the bottom in the oil, but along the sides as much as possible. If they slide down into the middle, it's not a, not a problem. I'm going to be in the pot for three minutes. After three minutes, they should be brown in the skins and I will then take them out to rest. So as you can see, there's juices at the bottom now between the chicken and the oil. I'm going to chuck in the peppers, thyme and onion. You're going to stir this regularly. I added extra coconut oil just to make sure it doesn't stick. So in, in this one, I put in thyme, but you can actually put in rosemary as well. It goes just as well with chicken. I just happen to have time on the day. This mixture will eventually start going brown. Once they, they're sort of translucent and nearly brown, then add in the celery and the olives into the mixture. We will then add in salt and pepper into the poiki. I'm doing it as to how I like it. Then I'm grating one lemon rind into the pot. I only had the one, so I'm going to be grating it and then I'll use the juice from the lemon. And then I've got lemon juice in the bottle. I'll be using a quarter cup of juice just to make sure that there's that zest that's supposed to be there. So I'm going to keep doing this for five minutes. Once everything's all soft, I'm then going to add the chicken back in. Give it a stir. Want the flavors to be all over the chicken. Then once this is done, I'm going to add chicken stock to 400 milliliters of hot water. And I put in two cubes of chicken stock. I like to have it, you know, that's where most of my salt is. Once I've added that in, make sure it's, it's at the right level. It should just be in line with the chicken. It shouldn't be covering the chicken. Then lastly, I'll add the Italian tomatoes. Then put on the lid and let it simmer for an hour and a half. Once this hour and a half is up, 
you can take it off the fire and let the porky parts rest for half an hour in this time you can prepare your starch and then it is time to eat